As the poster child of gaming's overzealous hype machine and the resulting fallout and mistrust players have towards the industry, No Man's Sky can also be portrayed as the ultimate redemption story. Released in 2016 by Hello Games, there is no way I would have told you to make time for it despite its grand promises of shiny next-gen features and capabilities pre-release. It was not until July 2018 when the next update was released that the game had actually began to fulfill some of its earlier promises and grand ambitions. Now five years later and almost 20 major updates, I will ask and help answer the simple question, should you make time for No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky is an open world survival game set in an ever expanding universe, a literal universe, with stars and planets and civilizations and creatures and omnipresent beings. Your goal? To survive, explore and find out who you are and why you are here. I'm leaving the last part a bit ambiguous as that's the core concept of the game, discovery. The game encourages you to search, scan, document and upload your discoveries with a built-in system for cataloging planets, creatures and other anomalous findings. This creates a unique sense of ownership and accomplishment as the players are able to leave their mark on the game's universe by discovering, naming and sharing these discoveries, of which there are almost infinite amounts, with other players. One of the most impressive features of the game is its procedural generation system, which creates an endless array of planets, creatures and landscapes for players to discover. The procedural generation system creates a sense of unending possibility and discovery, as players explore the universe and encounter these new worlds and creatures. Each planet in the game is unique, down to its own terrain, flora and fauna. The seamless transitions from space to atmosphere to planet and back up again, with no loading screens or interruptions to your journey unless you plan to hyper travel to another star system, creates a sense of realism and immersion not often found in other games. What drives the immersion even stronger is the planets that are not just randomly generated, but are generated based on algorithms that take into account factors such as distance from the sun, planet size and atmospheric conditions. The creatures that inhabit each planet also have their appearance, behavior and even sound effects procedurally generated. Not to mention the occasional rare planet for the player to find that will leave you awestruck. No Man's Sky's universe is vast and seemingly infinite, with over 18 quintillion planets to explore. The sense of scale in the game is truly awe-inspiring, with players able to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in real time. The vastness of the universe creates a sense of wonder and exploration, as players are free to chart their own course and discover new planets, creatures and phenomena. While the game's procedural generation system creates seemingly infinite world for players to explore, there are several gameplay elements that have been criticized for their lack of variety and depth. No Man's Sky is also sometimes criticized for its story. There are few memorable characters which can lead to a feeling of disconnect between the player and the game's universe. While this is always being addressed with updates, from my personal experience I did not find the story compelling enough to keep me playing through it, as it sometimes left me without a clear sense of purpose or overarching narrative. This is not a flaw in the game per se, it's a flaw in me as a player, as I need a strong, driving, and compelling reason to pursue this sort of storytelling. There's also the gameplay loop, which can quickly become repetitive. You are tasked with exploring planets, gathering resources, documenting flora and fauna, and upgrading your equipment, but there is little variety in these tasks. The tasks are usually necessary for the survival aspect of the game, but they quickly trend to be tedious and monotonous. The repetitive nature of these tasks can also make the game feel overly simplistic, as the players are not required to engage in complex problem solving or strategic thinking. This can be frustrating at times for players who are looking for a more challenging and engaging gaming experience. The survival aspect can also feel overly harsh at times, with players required to constantly monitor the resources and maintain their equipment. This can be particularly frustrating given the vastness of the game's universe, as players may feel as though they are constantly struggling to stay alive without being able to fully enjoy the exploration aspect of the game. However, once once you've sufficiently explored enough star system, which you might never feel, you may finally settle down and start building. No Man's Sky's building system is another one of the game's most impressive features, allowing players to construct elaborate bases and structures on the planets they explore. Compared to other games in the genre, No Man's Sky's building system is relatively robust, offering a wide range of building options and customization tools. One of the biggest advantages of No Man's Sky's building system is its flexibility and integration with the game's other mechanics. Players can use their bases to grow crops, mine resources, and even create landing pads for their spaceships or portals to their massive freighters. This integration adds a layer of depth to the game's mechanics, making base building an integral part of the overall gameplay experience. Additionally, the game offers a variety of different building components including walls, floors, roofs and decorations, allowing players to create elaborate structures that are both functional and visually appealing to show off to any visiting strangers. While No Man's Sky has many MMO-like elements, such as the ability to interact with other players in shared, persistent universe, it's not traditionally considered an MMO, mainly because it lacks some of the basic features that define an MMO, such as large-scale endgame raids and guilds. 
However, No Man's Sky's multiplayer mode is still a compelling feature that can provide a different experience than the single player mode. Players can team up to explore new planets, trade resources, build bases together and go on missions. In terms of which mode is better, it largely depends on your preferences. Personally, I much prefer the multiplayer mode as it adds an extra element to the game's mechanics and makes the universe feel more alive and lived in. And it was not until the multiplayer promise was delivered upon in the next update that I actually tried the game. No Man's Sky has come a long way since its controversial launch in 2016, and the controversy surrounding No Man's Sky's launch was a cautionary tale for the gaming industry, demonstrating the importance of managing player expectations and delivering on promises. The persistent effort and quality of updates now released by Hello Games has no doubt addressed some of the game's previous shortcomings, but also added new features to the game and depth, making it a much richer and more enjoyable experience for players. While I find the UI to be a little cumbersome and the story lacking, the graphics, gameplay and sound design are excellent, and after putting in hundreds of hours over the past 5 years, coming back with every update or two, I have no doubt I'll be jumping back in the future. So if you're curious about the game and have been waiting a long time to consider playing, or are a fan of the space exploration, building and survival genre, I highly suggest you make time for No Man's Sky. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that video. Feel free to subscribe for more content, follow me on Twitch for live playthroughs, and always make time for games. Protection falling.